so um, this is what you're saying, because I you know what you said before about uh, one said about Mary spreading something over the earth. Yes, her mantle, her cloak over the human race, protecting. That's that's our that's um, prophetic revel that's revelation, not in the Bible. That is, uh, we've had numerous people who've had apparitions of the Blessed Virgin down the centuries. And this is where we get this sort of thing from. You see, for us, it doesn't end with the Bible. Public revelation ends with the death of the last apostle. But that doesn't mean God stops speaking to us. God speaks to Catholics in every generation. It's not you have to just open your Bible. Most people can never read the Bible for the last 2,000 years. And since, well, tell me where. No, I'm saying because that was before the Catholics started using the Latin. And not well, anybody who would learn to read would learn to read Latin. Yeah. So there's no barrier to reading Latin. You just need what you. Could, the problem was in the Middle Ages, you could just about manage to feed yourself. It was subsistence level life. There was no, you couldn't have a book in your house to, to, to buy a book would cost several years worth of wages in your, in, that, in, that, in that you wouldn't have wages you have your barley your wheat and you'd actually live off most of that and then trade the rest of it for some other food it was a barter economy for most of the last 2,000 years remember they had the solution already in the Bible which was? that they had the synagogue and you go to the here the Lord of the ok yeah they hear but you see for the Protestant you don't do that you, where would they go? If the Bible wasn't printed widely, the, the non-Catholic, non-Orthodox religion couldn't get off the ground because it would only, there would only be a few Bibles and the, the ministers who'd have them, you can't trek across the nation to get to one of the few Bibles there are. Yeah, so all that means is that they didn't organise things as well as in the Bible. Remember, that's why spread Okay, popular. okay. Because so then they could organise things better but you're still going, not as somebody who's able to read, you're listening to the minister who's telling you the Bible, right? That's fine. So they'll have the Bible, they'll, they'll know to listen to it, and maybe one day they, get, they learn to read. But for most of the last 2,000 years, it's not the church that has stopped them having the Bible read to them, because at every Mass for 2,000 years, the Bible is read to them in the way the synagogue leader read the Bible, the Old Testament Bible, in the scrolls to the synagogue congregation. What's the difference? Remember Henry VIII? Remember the reason why he had that... Um, uh, yeah, he wanted to get his leg over, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but remember, he knew that when they went to the Catholic Church, they would read to the people in Latin. So the Mass would be in Latin, but they would have the, the sermon in their own tongue. Yeah, but the actual text in the... No, I guess like, I've, I've gone to Latin Mass many times. The reading is in Latin and then it's in English. I'm, I'm assuming, but I don't know what happened in the Middle Ages, but I'm assuming that you would have it read in your own tongue as well, because the, the, before the Protestant Reformation, the New Testament was in Anglo-Saxon. Hmm. But, but so, I, so I have to say to you, I need to get back to you to check whether it was just read in Latin. But if you say, well, the, if it wasn't read in, if it wasn't read in English, in the native English tongue, hmm. that's bad. But think about this. If the people can't read and the priest wants to deceive them, he, he'll read from the Bible pretending to read. He'll read any old nonsense he wants to read. It doesn't matter whether it's in English or not. He'll read any old nonsense in English. No, he would read it in Latin. Yeah. But it would, uh, from what I remember the history, I remember this from school when yeah. they taught me, yeah. that what was happening is that the priest would read the Latin yeah. and then just give, you know, give a sermon on whatever. Yeah. But you see, Henry VIII, because he wanted the divorce, there were certain specific parts of the Bible that he wanted the population to be able to know about. Okay. Weren't being taught by the Catholics. Yeah, but he was, he was distorting the meaning of them because, as I said, he wanted a bit of hanky panky with another woman. Yeah, but he wanted them to actually hear the text. Okay, but that wasn't in the. the yeah, that's okay, but it's not really how we should proceed, is it? Some dirty old man wants to get his, you know, oats with a new young floozy, so we must, you know, what. The fact that he wants is not the point. What matters is this. If the, were the priests deceiving the people when they were at Mass, whether the, the Bible will be in English or not, the priest can deceive anybody who can't read the Bible or get hold of it and read it for himself. So the people, to avoid deception, the people need to have the Bible in front of them and be able to read it in their own language or in Latin, whatever language they read with, right? 
No, because if they can only hear it, the priest who's speaking it could be reading something different. Could also the words. Oh, yeah, but See what I mean? Yeah. To really know, you've got to be able to read. Right, but because it's in England, so obviously it's the Catholic priests are the ones with the Latin. Yes. But all the other people around who are scholars, the, their first language would be English. No, Latin. All the, in Oxford and Cambridge, founded by the Catholic Church, Latin, Latin, Latin. But did they use Latin as part of training? Latin was all the, um, the higher academic stuff was in Latin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like biology. No, it's just this is the Catholic Church. We set up this civilization. We say Latin. Latin is what it is. Yeah, no, but the African. And we've got to thank the. I mean, we've got to say something. Give thanks to the Italians. I mean, we can't just say it's us, our thin air. We thank the Italians. We carried it on. Bob's your uncle. Latin civilization. Yeah, all right. Um, 